And now another special focus this week on the India story. Cancer. It's a brutal illness that has affected so many people's lives in one way or another. But there continue to be rays of hope on the horizon to help cancer patients. This new breakthrough, for example, which could perhaps help save millions of lives around the world. It comes in the form of a simple, non-invasive blood test that has been developed by Mumbai-based Epigenerist Biotech Private Limited in collaboration with Singapore-based Zar Labs. It claims to have developed the world's first pan-cancer imminent detection blood test. With just a few drops of blood, the test makers say that they can detect cancerous stem cells before they become a tumour with nearly 100% accuracy. Now, that's, of course, a major claim to make. The potential of targeting stem cells to detect imminent cancer was published in a peer-reviewed paper as an article in January this year. Now, clearly, further trials have to be done. But this screening test is available in the team's Mumbai lab. So let's now talk to Ashish Tripathi, the CEO of Zar Labs, to discuss the scope and the importance of this new cancer test. Well, Ashish, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. And these are, these are very major claims that are being put forward by, by Zar Labs. If, if this actually works out, it could be a major, major landmark shift. Uh, uh, just tell us a little about it, because obviously if you can detect cancer early, it has a significant bearing on the prognosis and on how effective treatment can be in curing cancer. So, Vikram, firstly, thank you for having me. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people don't realize that uh, uh, cancer is already the biggest killer in the Western world. It is actually the second biggest killer after cardiovascular diseases today. But uh, that said, I think that statistic does not do it justice. The kind of cost that it causes to the patient, to the system at large, is, uh, is prohibitive. And uh, the, uh, the way to understand this disease is that if you just look at the statistics, if you can catch the disease early, the survival rates uh, beyond five years go through the roof, right? Uh, it is uh, above 95% in the Western world for many cancers, uh, so long as you catch it early. And uh, the cost to the patient is uh, relatively negligible as opposed to if you catch it late, the cost of uh, the, uh, the chances of survival beyond uh, five years is less than 5%, and the cost to the patient and the system is prohibitive. Um, having actually uh, suffered with this disease in our family, uh, like so many of us, um, you know, uh, what I can tell you is that the only real solution with cancer is detecting it early, and that's where we believe we've made a very significant breakthrough. So let's dive into that a little bit, bit further because, you know, frankly, till now, how do you detect cancers early uh, if you don't actually feel a lump? Till now, it was about either feeling a lump or having symptoms of some sort or the other and then figuring out what to do about it. Now, if you can actually catch it so much earlier and by something as simple as a blood test, uh, is that what you're saying it could now be possible? So, uh, Vikram, uh, let me put out my claims first, my bold claims first, and then I'll explain to you what is different about our technology versus all other liquid biopsy companies that you may have heard of. There are three global firsts that we claim. This is the first pan-cancer blood test. It detects all cancers from a blood test, but interestingly, we can detect it before the tumor forms, right, when it is still PET negative. Uh, at this stage, we can tell you that you're at imminent threat of cancer and we can tell you which cancer and where it is growing straight from a blood test. That's claim one. Claim two, this is the first prognostic test for cancer. From a blood test, not only can I tell you that you do not have cancer, I can tell you that you're not at risk for, of cancer for the next one year because we know the pace at which these markers grow. So if you're within a safe zone, we know that the fastest cancer doesn't move from here to a tumor stage in one year. So you can see the use case of a test like that. It's like a blood test that all of us will do once a year, and we will either catch cancer at stage one or before when it is infinitely more curable. That's claim two. Claim three, and this is actually very useful for oncologists, we can in fact give you mutations and dysfunctional pathways uh, that you typically get from a biopsy of a tumor tissue, except we can give it to you from a blood sample. Now, having said this, the first question that will uh, be striking you is, uh, how is this possible? Right? Uh, we're not magicians, nor are we the smartest people in the world. We were essentially a drug company that was looking at a cancer drug. And when we were studying the pathways, we realized that it was acting on certain stem cells. 
And we realized that there's an epigenetic change or a mutation that's happening on these stem cells, which is creating cancer stem cells. The cancer stem cells are creating cancer cells, right? Then a billion cancer cells come together to form a tumor and form a lump, as you said, right? At which stage, uh, you know, uh, it will start shedding its outer layers. At a furious pace, nearly a million CTCs are shed. A mature tumor sheds about a million CTCs a day. Right now, all liquid biopsy companies were essentially looking for these resultant markers, these tumor bits in the blood. And the challenge was that at early stages, at stage one and stage two, you don't see them enough in the blood. Right. Yeah. So you were always going to detect it later at stage three, stage four. While we had stumbled on to a causative marker, right? These uh, these changes are happening before the tumor forms. Actually, let me just try and summarize that for people who are watching this. You're saying changes start to happen, then the tumor comes, and then the tumor starts to shed uh, cells, and that's when people are able to start spotting it. Now, you're saying that your test will be able to spot the cancer even before the tumor has been formed. There's no, there's no cancer anyway, there's no sign of cancer anyway. You're probably a year away from that cancer, but you're being able to spot those changes. Did I understand you correctly in that? Correct. And the importance of this is by the time the tumor forms, we are getting very loud signals, right? And furthermore, please appreciate that we are getting a reading for non-cancer. Understand that the tumor-based approach, the tumor bits, the absence of tumor bits in the blood indicates non-cancer. While we get a reading from a patient that he does not have cancer, absence of evidence is not the same as evidence of absence. And that is why we get so much more sensitivity compared to other liquid biopsy companies if you look at our clinical trial reports. Ashish, I know you're going in for NHS trials right now. What is your expected timeline? How soon before people are actually able to start using this test? So Vikram, we've already launched the service in India, right? And uh, uh, interestingly, there was one specific problem that we actually had, that we had a capacity constraint because this is a molecular test, right? We unfortunately could process very few samples. Right, but we have um, uh, imported certain machines from the U.S. In fact, uh, we're one of the first. Com uh, we are the first company in this uh, country to have imported this specific machine, and uh, we are looking at a uh, at a situation where we will be able to scale or automate our process in our labs. So we will be probably able to do about fifty hundred samples a day uh, by the end of uh, this quarter. Right, and. Uh, then, the, then, of course, what our board is talking about is how can we actually create a number of labs because this can save a lot of lives. I mean, it's just a, a non-invasive blood test. And if you can detect it early, you'll save a lot of lives. All right, Ashish Tripathi, thank you so much for joining us and all the best with those NHS trials and the other trials that you're doing. Thank you so much for, for joining us, Ashish.